gavana wetu wa kwanza wa jimbo la Kakamega ambaye pia ndiye party leader wa chama cha ODM na kwenda kumwangaisha kila wakati umemwangaisha tangu mwanzoni kutaka kumshika sasa hivi na vitu ambavyo amekuwa ofisini na hakuwahi kuulizwa leo hii tuko tunataka kueleza serikali ya Kenya kwanza na wewe yule jamaa wa DCI sijajua jina lako nitalijua pengine baadaye kwamba wachana na mheshimiwa His Excellency Emeritus Daktari Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya kama mnajua kwamba Ambetsa Oparanya ndiye atakuwa rais mwaka wa 27 basi si wachana na yeye ile maneno ya kwenda kumwangaisha na kumwekea kashfa na kwenda kufanya nini na zile njama zenu wa Kenya tumejua na kiongozi wetu sisi hapa kama Luya Nation Mlembe Nation si mwingine ni Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya na come 2027 sote kama waluya tutapiga kura yetu kwake Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya kama rais wa sita wa nchi ya Kenya kwa hivyo wewe kama uko pale wetangula mudavadi ulikuwa unaotea unamezea mate utumie ESCC utumie nini ole wako umechelewa tafadhali pole sana na nataka kuambieni wa Kenya wote mjue kwamba hapa Kakamega hakuna vacuum kwa Luya Nation hakuna vacuum ni mmoja Wycliffe Ambeta Oparanya Unajua na wakati ambapo baba analekea AU pengine ni mpango madhubuti kwamba kupawe na vacuum ndani ya leadership ya ODM so that people the party e, Tumejua hiyo ndio njama yao hmm. lakini kwa sasa hivi sisi kama wana ODM sisi kama watu wa Mlembe Nation tunajua kwamba kiongozi wa Mlembe Nation ni Wycliffe Ambeta Oparanya. Hata akue jini chini ya mti, akue wapi, akue wapi sisi kama Luya Nation, Mlembe Nation ni Wycliffe Ambeta Oparanya. Nice. Sawa so, sawa. So. The next speaker. Anzana majina sana title yako Jina langu ni Mheshimiwa Zurak Nyongesa nominated MCA Kakamega County ODM party Mimi kwa leo hoi na nashutumu ile kitendo ya ACC kufuruga na kumsumbua our tribute party leader Mr Emeritus Oparanya Na nashutumu hii kitendo naambia wenye wako nyuma ya hii maneno wakome mimi kama mama Muislamu wa kaunti ya Kakamega na waombea kwa Mwenyezi Mungu walai chini ya jua siku ya leo wawachana na Ambeta Oparanya manake sisi tunamjua kama tribute bad leader wetu na tunajua ataenda mbali kwa hivyo naomba hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza wawachane na yeye watu waachie yeye ni wetu kwa haki tuna uzuni tu tena sana Asante Asante okay. Mimi yote. Okay. Okay. Asante sana. Um, cha majority leader niongee kwanza. Uh, mimi majina yangu naitwa Geoffrey Ondiro. Mimi ni MCA wa Butere na mimi ndio Secretary General wa chama cha ODM kule Butere. Uh, leo hii tuko hapa kushutu uh, zile vitendo ambazo zinafanyika kwa gavana wetu Emeritus Oparanya. Uh, maneno ambayo yanaendelea katika nchi hii ya Kenya mara kwa mara tunasikia na tunaona hata kwenye TV ya kwamba kuna files zimepelekwa kwa ESCC kuchunguza maneno ya oparanya mimi nilikuwa katika bunge hili kuanzia 2017 kuanzia wakati huo hatukuwaisikia lolote hata allegation yoyote kwamba atwiki lifambeso oparanya alipatikana na ufisadi wote <coughs> ni kwa nini wakati sasa baba anataka kwenda AU, AU ndio wakati sasa wanaanza kuamsha maneno kwamba oparanya ako na kesi oparanya aende ESCC oparanya sijui anaitwa wapi tunataka tukomeshe hicho kitendo kuanzia leo tunajua mpango ambao unaendelea na huu mpango haswa unatengenezwa na wale viongozi ambao wanatoka hapa western ambao wanataka kuwekana pamoja na oparanya nimesikia juzi maneno ambayo vijana wanaongea na nataka niambie uh, mkubwa wangu ambaye ni Wycliffe uh, Msali ya Mudavadi tunajua maneno ambayo mnapanga kumaliza kwamba oparanya asionekane 
mahali popote katika nchi hii. Lakini hizo mipango zote tunataka kuambia hamtafaulu kwa maana watu wote wa Western wamesimama pamoja na Wycliffe Ambeza Okara. Na kuanzia leo tunataka kuambia wasiwasi kwamba wakati baba anaenda AU ule ambaye tunabaki naye katika chama cha ODM ni Wycliffe Ambeza Oparanya yeye ndio anaenda kusimama pale kama party uh, leader wa chama chetu cha ODM. Nimejiona juzi pia wale viongozi ambao mwanzo walikuwa pamoja na sisi katika chama cha ODM. Wakati baba alinyang'anywa uh, kiti cha urais walipotea. Juzi ndio tunaona wanainuka wanasema wao wanataka kuwa rais wa nchi ya Kenya katika chama cha ODM. Wakati Raila amekuwa kipigwa tia gas na baba na wiki Ambeso paranya hawakukua mahali. Sasa hivi ndio wanajitokeza wanasema pia wanataka urais wa nini? Wa nchi. Na tunajua hii kiti ambacho wanasukuma. Wanasukuma mpaka baba ati akienda AU aende na Oparanya. Ndio wabakishe pale vacuum wachukue chama kuwa party leader. Oparanya amekuwa loyal na chama, Oparanya amekufa na chama, Oparanya ame support uh, baba kuanzia mwisho kuanza mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Kwa hivyo kwa sasa sisi kama watu wa ODM na hasa watu wa Western kwa jumla tunasema yule ambaye tuna recognize kama mwenye afaa aridhi chama na kuwe party leader ni Wycliffe Ambeza Oparanya na hakuna mtu mwingine. Na kwa hivyo hiyo maneno ya Kenya kwanza kutaka kupiga vita ya kwamba Oparanya aonekane kwamba ni mfisadi. Oparanya si mfisadi, Oparanya ni mweupe kama pamba na na kazi yake kakamega inavyoonekana. Hakuna mtu mwingine ya Kenya hii ameshaifanya kazi kama Oparanya. Na kama alikuwa anaiba pesa, hii pesa alikuwa anafanyia uh, maendeleo hapa alikuwa anatoa wapi? Kwa hivyo sisi tunashutumu hicho kitendo mwache Oparanya tunamprepare akwe rais wa Kenya ikifika 20 27 na hatuna lingine baba wewe kaa pamoja na huyu mtu amekufa na wewe oparanya akue hapo hapo umwachie chama aendeshe na sita kwa hapo pamoja asante okay jina langu ni mheshimiwa Anne Malihu nikiwa mbunge mteule langu ni moja tu jinsi mheshimiwa ndiro alivyosema oparanya amekuwa governor mia, uh, kakamega county miaka kumi na wakati ule kila mara alikuwa ranked kama the best governor. Mbona uchafu hii haikutokea? Juzi tumesikia mmoja wa Kenya kwanza akisema ya kwamba Oparanya akitaka hii, hii kesi ishe, amuke mapema aende apige magoti state house. So tunajua lengo lao. Na tutataka tuwaambie hakuna magoti Oparanya anaenda kupiga. Lile ombi langu ni let Kenya kwanza exercise political tolerance. Political Tolerance is the statement. Sisi tunataka wawache oparanya ashikilie uh, chama wakati baba anaenda AU. In ODM there is no vacuum and we are not less of leaders. We believe and we trust in our emeritus governor Wycliffe Ambeta oparanya. Okay. Uh, kwa majina naitwa Timothy Anzete, MC Alishel Binu. Tuko hapa kwa ile shutma ambayo tumeona DCI wakiandikia mheshimiwa Paranya ya kwamba ni mfisadi ati yako na madai wanadai ya kwamba alikula al, alipewa kickback kickback how do you know that somebody <coughs> amepata kickback kile kitu yenye una, una, una ushahidi jambo la pili tuna, tuna gov, we are governed by the constitution of Kenya which was enacted in 2010 ambayo inaruhusu democracy Kenya hii tuko na democracy Nataka niambia wangwana hii vitisho na vitina mnataka kuletea mheshimiwa Paranya ni kutaka kuwa democracy. Sisi hatutakubali Kenya serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza iangamize democracy kama tuko hapa. Oparanya ataendelea kuwa deputy party leader wakati Oparanya wa Baraila anaenda juu yeye achukue kuwa party leader wa ODM na sisi tumejipanga. Kifika 2027 tutatuma Kenya kwanza nyumbani. Santeni. Okay, kwa majina ni Sylvia Mteshi nikiwa nominated MCA kwa chama cha ODM. Mimi nataka niseme hivi uh, ile maneno mnaona sahi. In English we call it uh, political intimidation. But we want to affirm our standards the sons and, and daughters of this soil that we are going to protect our territory and that is uh, the, the political territory. We know that the Kenya Kwanza leadership and its uh, its people they know very well for them to penetrate Kakamega County they can't do it without Oparanya. I want to give a good example. Ojamong was a very worst governor at one particular point. Today he has defected in in Kenya Kwanza from Azimio or from ODM. And that is why now they are following the, our governor emeritus so that PIA afanye namna gani? A defect. You can only defect if you don't have na numbers. 
But if we have to look at the statistics of 2022 <coughs> politics, Kakamega performed eh, under the influence of uh, Governor Emeritus Oparanya. Now, easy bit was in easy the ESCC. Those are political intimidation. And I want to tell the president and the Kenya Kwanza government that they have enough criminals in their government. And I can cite examples if I'm given time. Thank you. Okay. Okay, kwa majina naitwa Mama Sara Watsula Netia, sauti ya kina mama hapa Kakamega County. Sisi watu wa Kakamega County na Western tunakasirishwa sana na mambo ya ESCC kufuruka governor wetu Emeritus Wycliffe Ambeso Oparanya na sisi wote Kenya mzima tunajua Emeritus eh, Governor Oparanya alikuwa chairman wa COG and he performed excellently both in development and everything the, uh, throughout this country vision 2030 hiyo ni brain ya Wycliffe Ambeso Oparanya ambapo tunaitumia hapa Kenya kama maendeleo up to 2030 kwa hivyo sisi tunataka kuambia serikali ya Kenya kwanza mtuachie kingpin wetu wa Western Wikilifu ambeso oparanya, afanya kazi yake, hako na watu wote nyuma yake, na sisi waluye uyo ndio kiongozi wetu. Wato, wale wengine walingia executive, and we are only looking at our wikilifu ambeso oparanya as our kingpin in western. Kwa hivyo tutasumama imara kama wa mama kakameka county, wa mama western, tuko nyuma ya wikilifu ambeso oparanya. Serikali kiendelea kumsukuma, na sisi tutatoka, tutaenda on street, hata tutafanya vituko, hii serikali juwe kwamba, wanataka kusumbua gafana wetu. Kwa hivyo governor alifanya maendeleo he was the best governor in east and west africa kwa hivyo atutaki kuna wengi pia wametoka kwa ofisi kama ma governors kuna wengi wametoka kama ma president hatujawahi uona kitendo vile wanafanyia governor wetu yuklif apeso paranya asante ni sana jaribu kunini Okay, my name is Honorable Charles Edwin Nandwa, a member representing the people of Marama North in Pitere, sub county. Uh, I want to join my colleagues in the OTM fraternity to rebuke the barbaric act that is being uh, the, uh, directed against our emeritus governor of Kakamega Weekly from Beso Paranya. It is uh, in a public domain that what is happening is uh, intimidation. Why do I say that? <coughs> this country is governed by the law. And the EICC is a body obligated under Article 20 and 22 under Bill of Rights to act in protection of Bill of Rights. I want to say this. <coughs> under Article 50, <coughs> The one weekly from the Paranya has rights to be protected given fair hearing. Taking matters to media and public prosecution, it is in itself violation of his rights as a Kenyan under the constitution of Kenya. We want to say, if the EICC has enough evidence, there's no need of using media every time we are mm. prosecuting Oparanya, we are prosecuting Oparanya. Let them proce proceed and present that matter before the court of law. Yes. Let Oparanya defend himself, yes. be cleared, and we continue. Mm. Because this kind of, it, when, was it, uh, when did it start? It is every day, every day, every day, which means they have insufficient evidence. What they are trying to, to do is uh, uh, trying to intimidate him, maybe to succumb to the pressure that is not there. Therefore, I want to say, this country is governed by the Constitution of Kenya 2010. And I want to urge both sides of the government and every organ of the state that please let the Constitution of Kenya prevail. If you want to prosecute somebody, follow the law. And if you are not going to follow the law, it means at the end of the day, it's a violation of the Constitution. And the Constitution itself is very clear. If you violate it... <laughs> You have to go. Thank you very much. Jinago naitwa Lilian Osema, party secretary kwa county assembly ya Kamega, party secretary wa ODM. Uh, lengo letu la kukuja hapa kukusanyika siku ya leo kwa sababu ya harassment yenye inaendelea kwa our deputy party leader Honorable Paranya. And we we know whatever that is going around there is fear because uh, Oparanya ako na muelekeo. Na katika pati ya ODM, tuna 
akona watu nyuma yake wengi sana ambayo imefanya hata hizi hizi pati zingine zimeshindwa ku penetrate into Kakamega na ndio maana wana 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 politically so that they weaken him but we want to say we are strong behind him and we want to tell the Kenya Kwanza government that we know that uh, you, we know what you are up to na sisi tutasimama imara na governor Paranya tuhakikishe ile kitu yenye tunataka kupata tutapata tu hii maneno imeanza vile walisikia baba anaenda kusimama kiti ya AU as a chairman na ndio maana wakaanza kufurutana na yeye na wanajua wanataka ku create a vacuum in Kakamega so that these other small parties zenye zimekunjwa kama jamvi zikarushwa kwa UDA ziweze ku penetrate into Kakamega so uh, to 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 our our voters our followers and we are not going to allow that and we want to tell the president kama ukweli governor Paranya ako na makosa all the every month ni kama mnataka kuwe na kesi kwa ESCC why can't you put together all these cases so that they are handled once kwa nini kila kitu kitokezea kila mara mnataka kutoka na kesi kila kitu kitokezea kila mara mnataka kuwa na kesi so we are saying as kakamegians and as western people that uh, the president should focus on the economy of the country failure to which mkianza kunyanyasa watu wetu wenye wanajua they performed best in their in, when they were on, on duty we, we are going to get to the streets all of us tuta mobilize watu kwa sababu Kenya inaumia oh, yes. tuende kwa street sisi wote tutembee mpaka tuende hata state house if they will want to kill they will kill all Kenyans because as we speak right now no one is at peace in this country vitu zinafanyika vibaya economy iko mbaya badala ya president focus kwa economy it will be so hard ku incha mtu mwenye watu wanajua he was one of the best performers sasa ndio mnaanza kutafutana zile siku zenye alikuwa kwa ofisi zote auditors were there to look into these files where are they coming up right now when he is away and why were they giving him position number one as a governor best performer governor when they knew that he was stealing so tunataka government ijue sisi tumeweka macho kwa vitendo zao zenye wanafanya na tuko nyuma ya oparanya and we will not allow them to intimidate oparanya when we are here thank you sawa sawa Baba yao naongea. Au wameongea wengi?